kind of activity we have experienced have been cold spots, um, vibrations, flashes of lights, heard voices, um, footsteps in the kitchen and lounge. When we first moved here, um, I went to work and my partner was here alone and um, while I was at work I had a text message to say that he, she felt someone was watching her. Um, she had seen shadows um, and she heard articles in the kitchen and loud vibrating um, which caused her to promptly run out of the flat and that is when we decided we would get the team down here and do an investigation. During one of the uh, investigations we had in the flat, we were doing EVP sessions and we went to do an EVP session in the bedroom where a fair amount of activity has been witnessed by myself and my partner. Um, went through the EVP, did the recording and we had a sensitive with us who promptly picked up the dictaphone and went to one of the questions, which I believe was, can you see us? And to our surprise, towards a good seven seconds into the clip, there was a voice that clearly said, yes, what I shall do now is play you the clip so you can all make up your mind of what we were hearing. Can you see us? Did you live here? We've had um, a couple of sensitives who come to the house. Um, we've also got a friend who's a sensitive and I would have to say that pretty much all three of them have described a shadow or a, a dark figure who loiters around the corridor um, in the hallway. Um, and none of them had talked with each other about this. They hadn't spoken to each other before, and I find it quite startling how they have all said that there's a dark figure in the corridor. A couple of them have also described a woman, probably from an authoritative position, that seems to be in the flat as well. Um, Another incident that occurred was in the bedroom is that uh, my partner and I were both in bed together and we saw two bright flashes of light, almost like balls of light, um, in two different areas of the room, um, which we managed to rule out if it was headlights from passing cars. It was almost like um, very bright ball lightning. Um, I would say if there was a size of the light, I would say probably about a centimetre in diameter. Just recently, I was in the bathroom, um, came out of the bathroom, and the mirror, which is on the wall, um, a good six foot from the bathroom, landed on my feet. Um, can't really describe what happened. I didn't see it fly off the wall, but um, I certainly hear it hit the, hit the ground right in front of me and quite startled me. Um, being an investigator, me and my partner were like, well... You know, how secure was it on the wall? Um, did it just fall off? Was it paranormal, paranormal activity? You know, I've looked, have I looked at the bolts and it would take, I would say, quite an effort to get it to fall off the wall. But still as investigators, because I didn't witness it and we didn't have any video cameras or anything on to prove what had happened to it, it, it was, it's still out there to what really happened. Tell the truth, we did and we didn't expect to have activity here. We knew the history of the building um, and the hospital and what it was used for. But as this was a completely new build away from the building, we didn't really expect any activity. Um, but sure enough, uh, we were quite surprised and I hope that the EVP will give some kind of credibility to the hauntings that we're having here.